<laughs> Please like, share and subscribe our channel to learn and enjoy our free online educational videos from class nursery to 10. Please click the bell icon to get all new updated videos. Chapter 4 Forests and their conservations A forest is an area where a large number of trees grow on their own. Forests are an important natural resource. They provide shelter to a variety of animals and birds. They help in purifying the air because the trees use carbon dioxide present in air to prepare their food and release oxygen. They add moisture to the air. They were increasing the amount of rainfall in that area. Forests help in preventing soil erosion. The roots of the trees hold the soil firmly and prevent it from getting washed away by rainwater. The fallen leaves of the trees decay naturally in the soil and make the soil more fertile. They get many useful things from the trees in a forest such as pulp of paper, wood, fruits, medicines and raw materials for many other products that produce in factories. Natural Resources Nature has given us forests and the vast wealth of animal and plant life found in them. There are countries' natural resources. A natural resource is something useful that is obtained from nature. In India, dense forests can be found in the Himalayas, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Western Ghat area, parts of Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal and Assam. In modern times, forests are cut down on a large scale so that cities and towns can be built. As a result, forested lands have become less than what it was earlier. People living in forests Earlier people used to live in forests. Over a period of time, forests were cleared and villages and towns came up. People moved from the forests to villages and cities. But even today, many people live in or near forests and use forest products for their survival. Such people are called tribal people or Adivasis. Jarwa, Kol, Bhil, Munda, Gonda, Santhals and Khasis are some of the Adivasi groups living in different forests of India. In India, tribal people live in many regions like Madhya Pradesh, Charkhand, Chhattisgarh, Orissa, West Bengal, Khasi and Jantia Hills and have different languages and cultures. Their life is closely associated with forests as they depend on forest products for food, fuel and shelter. Women gather various forest products such as tendu leaves, fruits, berries, bamboo, sal seeds, gum, mahua and medicinal plants. From the raw materials collected from the jungles, these women make baskets, mats, brooms, etc. They also make ropes from vines and bark of trees and bows and arrows from timber. Tribal women make beautiful jewelry using grass fibers, seeds and shells. Sometimes tribal men and women walk long distances to sell various forest products that they have collected. Some tribal people also grow crops. Tribal people depend on the forest for their livelihood. Many of them practice shifting cultivation. This means that they cultivate a particular piece of land in the forest for two or three years. Then the land becomes less fertile and the tribe moves to a new land. This practice of cultivation is called chung cultivation. Deforestation and its effect Cutting down of many trees in a particular area to clear land for farming or for construction of houses, buildings, roads and other structures is called deforestation. Deforestation has occurred to let cities and industries grow. It destroys the balance in nature. Many animals and birds lose their natural habitat. Excessive cutting of trees lead to natural calamities like floods and landslides. Due to deforestation, tribal people lose their shelter and the source of food and fuel. They have to travel long distances in search of food, firewood, and grazing grounds for the cattle. Absence of herbs and medicinal plants create immense difficulties for the tribal people as modern doctors and medicines are not available in the forest. Since the life and survival of tribal people depend upon the forest, they worship trees and have their own ways of protecting the trees. Trees like neem, people, banyan, basil are considered sacred and are believed to bring good health and peace. Sacred Groves Many tribal communities believe in sacred groves. They believe that the gods live in trees and hence they are considered sacred. So, to mark certain areas of the forest as sacred and create rules and customs so that they remain protected, 
cutting down of trees, killing of animals, collecting fruits and nuts from these trees of these sacred areas is banned. The people believe that they, if they do not follow the rules, the god will get angry and punish them. This helps in conservation of forest. There are about 250 sacred groves in Maharashtra scattered around Pune, Ratnagiri, Raigarh and Kolhapur. Some of the richest groves in the country are found in the Khasi hills of Meghalaya. Sacred groves in the hills of Garhwal and Kumayan find mention in old Hindu scriptures like the Puranas. All these groves are full of a large variety of species. Chipko movement. One of the most famous movements led by common people to protect the trees is Chipko movement. The Chipko movement began in Tehri Garhwal district of Uttarakhand in 1923. and spread throughout india the word chipko means embracing in english they hug the trees to prevent from felling them earlier the government had granted some forest lands to a sports goods company when they came to clear the trees of the forest local people stopped them so many people joined the protest and the chipko movement became a huge revolt the success achieved by this protest led to similar protests in other parts of the country Some of the prominent leaders of the Chipko movement were Gauri Devi, Sudesh Devi, Chandi Prasad Bhatt, Sundarlal Bahuguna, Govind Singh Rawat, Thoom Singh Negi, and Shamsesh Singh Bhatt. They appealed to the Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi, to stop the cutting down of trees. Ultimately, the cutting of trees was banned. Protecting forest. We can protect the forest by ensuring that fewer trees are cut down. Recycling paper and using gobar gas instead of wood are some of the steps we can take to reduce cutting down of trees. Afforestation or growing trees to regain forest cover is being practiced all over the world. People of India have many festivals related to trees. Van Mahotsava or the Forest Festival is an example. It was started in 1950 by K M Munshi to create awareness and enthusiasm among people. for forest conservation long festival in the month of july august and september is characterized by large scale tree plantation the government has given tribal people rights to protect the forest through a system called joint forest management tribal people work with government agencies to plant trees in forests in return the government provides the people with facilities such as clean drinking water and good roads The government has set up some special areas in the forest which are protected. That is where the animals and plants can exist in their natural environment. These places are called wildlife sanctuaries, biosphere reserves and national parks. Time to relearn. Many tribal people live in the forests. Tribal people mainly depend on the forest resources for their livelihood. Deforestation has led to the destruction of the habitat of tribal people. Sacred groves are protected areas in the forest where cutting of trees or killing of animals are strictly prohibited. The government has set up wildlife sanctuaries, biosphere reserves and national parks to protect the animals and plants in the natural environment. To plant more trees in forests are called afforestation.